Hello guys, welcome to Love is Vacation YouTube's channel. Now I wanna give you information about 5 Top Rated Tourist Attractions in Istanbul Number 5 Istanbul Archaeology Museum Just a hop, skip, and jump away from Topkap Palace, this important museum complex brings together a staggering array of artifacts from Turkey and throughout the Middle East, which sweeps through the vast breadth of history of this region. There are three separate sections in the complex, each of which are worthy of a visit, the Museum of the Ancient Orient, the Main Archaeology Museum, and the Tiled Pavilion of Mehmet the Conqueror, which holds a staggering collection of ceramic art. Number 4 Hippodrome Just a hop, skip, and jump away from Top Topkapi Palace, this important museum complex brings together a staggering array of artifacts from Turkey and throughout the Middle East, which sweeps through the vast breadth of history of this region. Number 3 Basilica Cistern, Yerevat and Sarnizai The Basilica Cistern is one of Istanbul's most surprising tourist attractions. This huge, palace-like underground hall, supported by 336 columns in 12 rows, once stored the imperial water supply for the Byzantine emperors. The project was begun by Constantine the Great but finished by Emperor Justinian in the 6th century. Many of the columns used in construction were recycled from earlier classical structures and featured decorative carvings. Number 2 Blue Mosque, Sultanahmet Kami I. Sultanahmet I's grand architectural gift to his capital was this beautiful mosque, commonly known as the Blue Mosque today. Built between 1609 and 1616, the mosque caused a furor throughout the Muslim world when it was finished as it had six minarets, the same number as the Great Mosque of Mecca. A seventh minaret was eventually gifted to Mecca to stem the descent. The mosque gets its nickname from its interior decoration of tens of thousands of Islamic tiles. Number 1 Aya Sophia. It's said that when the Byzantine Emperor Justinian entered his finished church for the first time in AD 536, he cried out glory to God that I have been judged worthy of such a work. O Solomon, I have outdone you. The Aya Sophia, formerly the Hagia Sophia, was the Emperor's swaggering statement to the world of the wealth and technical ability of his empire. Tradition maintained that the area surrounding the Emperor's throne within the church was the official center of the world. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe.